So okay, let's let's start. Okay. So okay, let's start and continue the lecture uh, yesterday. And uh, sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So and uh, we have seen that uh, superpotential is a uh, holomorphic. A function of the, or uh, sorry, holomorphic function of a chiral superfield, and uh, another technique to consider the supersymmetric gauge theory is uh, this one can be sorry, regarded as of chiral superfield. <laughs> okay. Usually, mass or coupling constant lambda is just a constant, uh, not a field. But uh, we can think uh, these m and lambda as a uh, lowest uh, VB of uh, a vacuum ex expectation value of a uh, lowest component of chiral superfields. Okay, that is, uh, for example, uh, consider that this so. Let us consider the corresponding uh, uh, color superfield for this uh, mass M. This mass is uh, up here, here, but here this is a function <laughs> or field. But if we consider the L like uh, uh, M children and take uh, The infinity limit. And take uh, alpha goes to infinity limit. Alpha is uh, here. So this is this gives a kinetic term for this uh, scalar field. Okay. And if it takes, uh, 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 so this contains alpha times d m squared, something like that. So if we con and then. Uh, if the coefficient of the kinetic term becomes infinite, then such field is decoupled. Because uh, if we uh, consider the uh, m prime as a uh, root alpha, oh sorry, like uh, this, then we can absorb this factor. And because of this extra factor, the interaction term, uh, interaction term are suppressed by this one over square root alpha. So it's decoupled from the other sector, okay? So if we, cons so if we consider such an uh, uh, action, then uh, these uh, theory are decoupled, and also we can take uh, if this uh, superfluid, oh sorry, this uh, uh, auxiliary field equals zero. Okay, so m by is decoupled from other sector, and this is uh, of course a free, just a free, free scalar. So free scalar can take uh, any ex expectation value as a vacuum. So we consider such an action, then this m can be take uh, any constant value, okay? And we regard this as a mass. And we also uh, introduce a superfield corresponding to this lambda, then lambda also becomes a color superfield. So why, why we, we want to do such uh, in strange things is that uh, then this super, Potential. Superpotential is a function of scalar superfield, and uh, 
interaction uh, or some, some coupling constant here. But here, this coupling constant can be regarded as a color superfield. So uh, this superpotential is a holomorphic function. Holomorphic function for uh, all variables. That means uh, this is a holomorphic function of mass and coupling constant. So there is no m bar here, lambda bar here. Okay, this is a very, uh, uh, very uh, special uh, things. In a user uh, quantum field theory, is a uh, potential. Potential is a function of m and m bar and lambda and lambda bar. If we introduce uh, some complex uh, coupling constant, but here. This m bar and lambda bar cannot be appeared in this superpotential. Okay. Sorry. M is a superfield. Yeah, here, yes, yeah, yeah. M M is a, uh, introduced as a, something like this superfield, and then uh, because of this argument, we can take uh, we can replace this as a VB of M. I mean here, and this is M, and other fields can be. Decoupled or f equals zero. So, so in uh, uh, alpha goes to infinity limit, this theory uh, becomes uh, original theory with a coupling constant m and lambda. Okay, but uh, but uh, uh, because of this argument, uh, superpotential is a function of uh, m and lambda. We can uh, conclude. That. Actually, uh, yeah, we consider the uh, Wilsonian effective action. Or Wilsonian uh, effective superpotential. Then, usually, uh, effective potential includes uh, all quantum correction. Okay. Then, uh, originally, if uh, W is a function of m and lambda, or potential is a function of m and lambda, then quantum correction uh, gives uh, dependence on m bar and lambda by usually in a user quantum field theory. But for the superpotential, uh, any quantum correction cannot enter. I mean, as a m bar and lambda bar. Okay. So this is a very special thing. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, for the K-lap, K-lap potential, uh, this uh, K-lap potential can be a function of m lambda and m bar and lambda bar, as a, as a like a phi here. Okay. Then. Wilsonian, Wilsonian or uh, uh, one pair effective uh, low energy ac low energy action low energy effective action should be And uh, this is harmonic. So then, as uh, as we said, actually, uh, so this holomorphic controls a uh, uh, quantum correction also. So because of this property, uh, with some consideration of the boundary condition of uh, this function, we will obtain the exact results. Exact means. Uh, uh, quantum mechanically uh, exact, so including an, uh, one loop, two loop, three loop, all order effect, uh, all order correction plus non pattern correction. This is uh, very, uh, very special for supersymmetric field theory. In a user field theory, uh, we cannot uh, expect such a things, uh, never, uh, ex except uh, to dimension CFT or some some solvable model. Okay. Uh, and in particular, quantum vacuum. Like 
like this. Actually, here uh, we can determine uh, sometimes this super potential exactly, but uh, this scalar potential cannot be determined. This is a user function, so it's uh, very, very difficult to control such things. But uh, for the uh, vacuum condition, for the vacuum, uh, vacuum condition is uh, uh, given by this one, uh, as we saw yesterday. So this uh, here, uh, w, a super potential only appears, no scalar potential. Okay. So we can determine the vacuum structure of the theory. That is the uh, uh, most important uh, things in uh, supersymmetric theory. Sorry. Okay. And here, okay. Uh, so so we can use uh, this uh, argument to the Vesemino model. The similar model is uh, uh, this action. First of all, symmetry of this action is a uh, U1 action. It's just a rotate uh, phi. Actually, this is a, sorry, this is a s symmetry. Um, I, alpha M. So this U1, U1 symmetry <laughs> rotates the uh, chiral super field, uh, and also uh, coupling constant. So in this sense, this is not a uh, uh, symmetry. Uh, in a user sense, because uh, we rotate m and lambda, but uh, as we said, uh, m and lambda can be regarded as a color superfield. So we can think uh, this as uh, some symmetry or uh, so assigning the some 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 charge to the m and lambda, and then we control the effective action of uh, this human symmetry. And another one is. Uh, Another symmetry is called U1R. This is U1R called U1R because uh, this is this symmetry is called U1R because this rotates uh, uh, differently in a uh, component field in the uh, same chiral multiplet. Okay, so here uh, the charge of the component field in uh, this uh, chiral superfield is the same. This is the overall factor, but uh, U1R uh, that means uh, uh, the charges of the component fields are different uh, because of oh sorry. <laughs> because of this uh, rotation of theta inside here, okay? That means the uh, uh, lowest component of the phi, lowest component of phi, the scalar is uh, chargeless, uh, and the fermion is charge one, and the uh, color, uh, obviously field F is charge two, okay? And this is also, how we can see, this is also symmetry of the action. Okay, then effective action should be uh, invariant under uh, these two rotation. Then uh, effective uh, superpotential is a function of phi and m and lambda. Then there is only one uh, invariant com combination. That is uh, this one. It's invariant. Okay, so then this means effective superpotential should be a function of this combination. Okay, 
And here, this factor is needed uh, because, uh, for example, I, if I take this one, then this gives a uh, mass term. So actually, superpotential also has uh, this charge. So we need uh, this factor. Okay. Ah, this if this is a uh, uh, if f is uh, if f x is x, then this gives uh, lambda phi cubic. So this function. So. Okay. Uh, m. Uh, m is a uh, uh, finally a uh, uh, constant. Constant. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, we, uh, after we take uh, alpha goes to the infinity limit, actually uh, m is frozen to a uh, constant. Okay. Three. Ah, uh, lo rotate. Rotate. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, actually, ah. Uh, uh, this one? Yeah. Rotate means uh, this factor or uh, thi this factor? Uh, this factor is, uh, yeah, of course, uh, actually, this W have uh, uh, charges for this uh, U1 and U1R. Actually, M f this, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, and uh, this, yeah, this is arbitrary function over this uh, invariant. This is invariant, so f can be uh, uh, any function. Okay. Hmm? Ah, okay, so, so this is a three level, three level effective, uh, three level function. And uh, this effective, uh, yeah, yeah, plus uh, one loop, two loop. Uh, Light, 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 light. Uh, because, uh, yeah, this is a symmetry, so, yeah, we need to keep that. Uh, uh, this, uh, this alpha? Uh, complex, sorry, sorry, this is, uh, alpha is uh, real, but uh, this is exponential, so uh, this is a phase. Ah, uh, 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 not scale. Uh, actually, this uh, function is not, uh, I, I, sorry, uh, for example, uh, in a, Sorry, Kera potential is like a phi phi dagger. So then this terms are cancelled, but uh, for the uh, scale factor, it's not cancelled. So th it's not symmetry. Yeah, of course, uh, yeah, sorry, this is a symmetry of the uh, whole theory, I mean, including uh, Kera potential. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, uh, we will determine this one from the holomorphy, but uh, yeah, in principle, in principle, yeah, this can be some uh, 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 quantum correction. Okay. And uh, okay, and then in a weak coupling, two. This is a symmetric consideration. Then uh, we consider the weak coupling limit. In a weak coupling limit, we can uh, trust uh, uh, one loop, two loop, something correction. Okay. So then, uh, in a weak coupling limit, uh, sorry, uh, weak coupling. Okay. Let me coupling limit. Okay, this is a weak coupling limit. And then this effective superpotential should be uh, 2 over m, now oh, m over 2 plus uh, this 3 level 1, 
Okay, yeah, this weak upper limit means a three level limit. Okay, so this means uh, f should be one plus uh, sorry ah uh, plus three over x ah uh, t sorry. Okay. Actually, here, here we fix this one. Okay. So if if there is a something some correction for that, uh, for example, if there is some t square term in F t, that means uh, uh, this is a t square. So this should be a uh, uh, m uh, lambda or well, something like that. But uh, this correction cannot be allowed because of the this one of m factor. Okay. So in a, in this recoupling limit, the uh, theory should be regular. But uh, in this limit, uh, this uh, factor diverges, or some some one of m correction. It is not allowed in the recoupling limit. Okay, it's regular, and uh, one over t is also uh, not allowed because of the one over lambda factor here. Something like that. Okay. So then, this consideration uh, determines uh, this f should be the original three level things. Oh. Okay. Uh, one over t is a lambda over m. Phi, uh, phi of, sorry, uh, uh, phi or something like that. Phi, uh, no, no, no. Or oh, <laughs> one over m, m squared, sorry. Sorry. So I, in, uh, in this limit, we can compute the uh, effective action uh, perturbatively. The perturbation theory, uh, uh, lambda should appear in a lambda to a uh, positive power. But here, it's a negative power. So in a weak coupling limit, this cannot be allowed. Okay. So, we determine this one. Okay. So this means this means uh, superpotential does not have quantum correction. So there's no quantum correction. Okay, this is very special. <laughs> this, yeah, as you know, <laughs> sup yeah, superpotential is protected against uh, quantum correction. You can see it from the holomorphic symmetry and uh, asymptotic boundary condition. Okay. Oh. S sorry, could you speak again? Uh, this one? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, here, uh, we consider such a, a limit. So this lambda and m is small, and uh, this is fixed and arbitrary value. Yeah, then it's uh, if m is very small and lambda, then this factor is very uh, infinite. So this becomes an infinite correction, but uh, in a perturbation theory, such a correction does not appear in a general consideration. Huh? Uh, so lambda, uh, this, uh, here we consider this, uh, uh, this limit. Lam uh -huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, here, yeah, we consider that this is a finite limit, but uh, uh, this one, uh, okay. yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this is a uh, okay, lambda. Yeah, this is a uh, okay. So this is a uh, uh, 
Yeah, this is a two-loop <laughs> two collection with a, uh, uh, okay, sorry, this is, uh, t this is t squared. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is a, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> this, uh, okay. So in a in a perturbation theory, in yeah this uh, this this uh, is uh, uh, should be good at a perturbation theory, okay. And in a perturbation theory, uh, such a such a term cannot appear. Is it okay? Because one over yeah. This is a two loop collection with one over m something like that. But it's a massless limit something like that. Uh, uh, this is. Uh, uh, very large uh, collection. Uh, there's no singularity like uh, m goes to zero limit in the perturbation theory. Uh, no, yeah, actually, yeah, it's, there's no singularity, but uh, in, with this lim uh, with uh, fixing this limit, the perturbation theory can be reliable. And in the in the perturbation theory, uh, such uh, this term cannot appear. In a in a uh, explicit Feynman diagram computation, there's no such terms. And uh, not yeah, not not small. Uh, actually, if uh, it, there's no no such terms in a limit. Okay, okay. So this term is not allowed. Okay, if this is something m plus uh, some small constant, then it's okay. But this is uh, this is strictly this form or something like that. That is a, uh, yeah, yeah, so this is a, uh, yeah, one, one, this, yeah, factor include one over m. Okay. And, uh, and actually, uh, this, for this uh, Westminster model case, uh, here we use uh, holomorphy and symmetry, something. But uh, we can check this property, super, this uh, this property from the user super field, uh, sorry, super space uh, Feynman diagram. Explicit calculation in a super space uh, Feynman diagram uh, showed this super potential does not correct. Uh, uh, yeah, then no correct quantum correction. We can show that. So here, yeah, this uh, holomorphy argument uh, reproduces uh, such things. Uh, but here, interesting thing is this is uh, uh, this can be used for uh, any things, including a non-perturbative correction. That is an interesting thing. Okay. Okay, and uh, one comment is uh, here, the Kera potential. Uh, we cannot say anything about the Kera potential, effective Kera potential, okay? And uh, usually, uh, the coupling constant, uh, uh, effective coupling constant is determined uh, by uh, some, some wave function emulsion factor for the kinetic term also. But here, we keep uh, Kera potential as uh, arbitrary. Okay, so this, uh, uh, this, uh, this property is for the uh, for this uh, uh, yeah keeping this uh, uh, Kera potential uh, uh, undenormalized. Okay, so we here we have not introduced uh, wave function denormalization. Then super potential is not denormalized. But if we, we use uh, uh, if we take a user uh, wave function denormalization, then uh, the effective uh, lambda is uh, linum, uh, have uh, some quantum correction and co uh, corresponding to the wave function renormalization. Okay. Uh, four things zero. Yes. E yes. Uh, so la sorry, lambda fix m goes to zero limit. Uh 
Uh, no, I, actually, yeah, 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 of course, uh, uh, if we take a uh, uh, lambda is equal to m equals zero, and in a perturbation theory, uh, take a lam lambda is finite, then we have uh, some perturbation theory expanded by lambda. And of course, uh, if lambda goes to zero limit, it becomes uh, two level something. But uh, here we think yeah, lambda, uh, this, this means uh, uh, expansion around lambda and m. And then we should uh, yeah, have this uh, result. That is, so this is, uh, yeah, not strict, yeah, this is uh, expansion by lambda and m. So let us consider this, uh, this potential doesn't have a, a flat direction, but if uh, super potential has a flat direction, flat direction means uh, uh, like uh, uh, the potential is like uh, something like uh, flat. Uh, for, for this direction, there's a mass, mass term, but uh, in this direction, it's flat, OK? OK, if uh, super potential has some flat direction, like this one. Then we have seen this superpotential does not have quantum correction. At least this is a perturbation theory. So then it is flat if we, in, in, we include a quantum effect. Okay, this is also special. Okay, so. Are we that? Yes, 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 yes. Actually, uh, for this case, uh, uh, it's a, a bit difficult to <laughs> uh, define it in a quantum mechanically, I mean, non perturbatively But uh, yeah, here, uh, what, what uh, we show is uh, electric superpotential is, is uh, no quantum correction, including a non perturb effect. And gauge theory case, uh, uh, we can determine the non perturb effect uh, or uh, using a holomorphy also sometimes. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, Anyway, such a potential is a very special forms. But the quantum correction, loop quantum correction in a, in a perturbation theory is almost random. Okay? So in a, in a quantum field theory, use a quantum field theory, if, uh, uh, if theory has a flat direction like this one uh, at, at first, then quantum correction doing the, this, uh, this is something like uh, this form or something like that. It's almost random uh, for uh, one loop, two loop, three loop, uh, including. Then uh, vacuum becomes uh, something lowest one. So there is no flat direction and the vacuum is unique or something like that. But in a quantum field, uh, in a supersymmetric quantum field theory, uh, at least uh, FT superpotential, I mean, FT superpotential is a uh, uh, three level plus uh, some special term. That is, uh, like, like a, uh, as usually it's like that. And there is no uh, perturbative correction, including gauge coupling as we will see. So then, uh, flat direction remained in the quantum correction. Okay, okay so this uh, flat direction is uh, a very special properties of the uh, 
supersymmetric quantum field theory. Then this means there can be an infinitely many vacuum because there's a flat direction and it's not related by the symmetry like a Goldstone boson and uh, symmetry breaking case. Okay. So there is a non-trivial vacuum structure. Yeah, actually there's a infinitely many vacuum. Uh, param yeah, yes, actually it's a continuous. And there is a massless mode. And then we can def define the modular space. Modular space of vacuum. That parameterizes uh, this infinitely many vacuum. Okay? So in a quantum field theory, there's no notion, usually no notion of the modular space of vacuum, but in a quantum, uh, in a supersymmetric quantum field theory, there can be a notion of the modular space of vacuum. Okay? And that, this is, and this modular space is related, uh, usually related to the, some modular space of the geometry in a string compactification, a uh, deep brain model, or something like that. Okay. Uh, this existence, the existence of the modular space of Bakia is, uh, is in some sense guaranteed by this uh, non denormalization theorem for the superpotential. Okay. And then we consider the uh, vector superfield. Okay. So this is a uh, constraint is uh, just a real or element elementity to the super field. Then, as you know, for example, the U1, U1 case, W alpha we can define this W alpha using uh, this D and D bar. This then we can see this property. Okay? Because uh, there is a uh, two D bar here, so this is a there's a three D bar. And there is only two theta bar. Okay? So this should be vanished. So it's equal to zero. So this is a uh, is so W alpha is chiral. So if we have a vector superfield, uh, I mean vector multiple, then we can define the, this chiral superfield. Okay. Then this is chiral superfield. So this action, so this is a superpotential term is supersymmetric invariant, as we have seen, okay. So this is uh, very important because uh, for the, even for the vector superfield, uh, this W alpha becomes a color superfield. So this term, I mean, is uh, holomorphic because uh, this is a superpotential term. And here. W, this W, uh, this field is called a gauge no super field uh, because uh, this, uh, okay, I, I will explain it. Uh, w alpha is invariant and uh, okay. as you know, W alpha is invariant and this uh, Transformation here phi is uh, arbitrary uh, color superfield. 
this phi is a uh, arbitrary chiral superfluid. Then, uh, because of this structure, uh, distance vanishes. Okay, and uh, if we take the gauge condition, uh, this is a classical argument, but uh, and uh, this gauge condition is called the West Min gauge. Then. Uh, with uh, sorry, with a gauge condition, <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> so this is uh, okay. Sorry. So this is a uh, superior gauge symmetry. This transmission should be gauge symmetry because this is arbitrary uh, chiral superfield. So it depends on space, space time. Okay? So this is a yeah, local transformation. And the local transformation should be gauged because of the uh, Lorentz symmetry or, uh, uh, or uh, uh, causality. Okay? So this, this action, yeah, this. Transformation should be uh, not not regarded as a global symmetry, but should be regarded as a gauge symmetry because it's a uh, local. Okay, and then uh, uh, we use uh, some gauge fixing, and then we have. Uh, Gauge fixing means uh, take uh, this phi to eliminate uh, some component in uh, this V. Es especially, there is some uh, theta, I mean, scalar, scalar plus uh, some fermion theta, theta lambda plus uh, something. But uh, it starts from theta, theta bar. So, okay. So, ah, sorry. I ah sorry this <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry such terms some lower terms are eliminated by this phi plus phi dagger this is called the Westmino gauge and uh, okay sorry so because of the reality condition V M and D are real. Or oh, emit in a in a non-abelian gauge case anyway, and but th there is a remaining remaining gauge symmetry. Okay. Okay. This uh, with similar gauge condition. This yeah. This is still invariant under this, uh, uh, this sorry, so w, it, this W alpha is invariant under this action. This is, uh, that is this one. So this is a user uh, gauge transformation for the vector uh, potential, okay? Gauge, gauge connection. Okay, a VM is a gauge connection. So this describes uh, uh, gauge theory, this action. And uh, in a W alpha, Thank you. 
We can compute uh, W alpha in this, this similar gauge. Then we have uh, this one. Sorry, this is a uh, field strength, F, M, N, E, Q, D, M, V, N, minus D, M, V, sorry, N, N. Ah, this one? <laughs> okay. Ah, this one? Yeah. Ah, okay, sorry. This is just a, ah, FMN is a field strength, I mean, N, V, N, or like uh, F equal D, V. Uh, this is one form, and uh, I use that one, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, this is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, can you read it? <laughs> if you can read it, uh, please uh, tell me. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, my writing is very, very bad, so. Okay. <laughs> then, then the supersymmetric invariant action becomes oh, sorry. Here we introduce a uh, complexified uh, gauge coupling. Okay, here. Yeah. Then uh, this term gives a user uh, uh, action for the gauge field, uh, wire spinner, and uh, auxiliary field. And this gives a theta term of the gate theory in 4D, topological term. And the, this action is uh, invariant and uh, this transformation, because uh, this term is proportional to uh, instant number and it's quantized in a uh, four-dimensional space with a uh, uh, vanishing boundary condition. So then, yeah, here, then I, he, here I introduce a uh, gay theory in a uh, superfield. Then let us consider the low energy effect action of the, this theory. Okay. So then it should be a uh, It's like uh, this one. 
uh, we forget about uh, some some fact, but uh, it's like this one. Uh, this dot 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 means a higher order term is in W, and we including a derivative of something. So this is a uh, lowest uh, uh, dimensional action. Okay, and we call this coupling constant uh, tau effective. So this is a, tau, a three level gauge coupling, but uh, of course uh, in a low energy effective action include a loop correction, non partible correction or something like that. So we call that is as tau effective here. And uh, important point here is this tau is a function of tau only, no tau bar. As because this is a superpotential term, and we can convert this tau to the color superfield, as we saw it. Okay. So this tau effect will be also a holomorphic function. Then. You can consider the beta function for this effective coupling constant. It's a user, I mean, this includes, of course, uh, a beta function for the gauge coupling constant. Mu is a cutoff scale. Okay? Cutoff scale of the Wilsonian effective action, or something like that. Then, beta should be. Invariant and uh, this. Actually, this is a abelian theory, but uh, yeah, yeah, this apply uh, this argument can apply can be applied to the uh, non abelian case. So let us <laughs> think about the non abelian case or something like that. And then uh, this uh, sorry this uh, symmetry is uh, this symmetry. I mean. Uh, because yeah, it comes from the conservation of the instant on number. Okay, it's a topological term. Okay, then beta can be expanded. By this factor, because uh, because of this symmetry, and uh, there's no uh, negative integer here, because uh, uh, this term should be uh, non-divergent in a uh, weak gauge coupling constant limit. If g goes to zero limit, this should be finite. Okay, this is becomes zero for n non-zero, uh, but positive. Okay. So negative negative n cannot appear here. Uh, tau, tau bar. Uh, okay. Yeah. This is a yeah. Uh, this is a this is a chiral superfield. So this term is a super potential. Okay. Then if uh, this uh, depend on tau tau bar. And uh, we, if we promote the tau to the color superfield, then this term breaks the supersymmetry. So because of the supersymmetry, effective action should keep the supersymmetry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah supersymmetry. So uh, here, uh, we cannot include this tau bar dependence. That, is it OK? OK. Okay, and this, uh, yeah, okay, this is uh,
Okay. Then we conclude this theta function is tau independent for the loop effect. Actually, sorry, this is a zero comes from a instant effect. Because uh, this factor contains exponential uh, theta integer n here. That is an uh, instant on effect. Okay? For, so only the n equals zero term is a loop effect, a three level effect and a loop effect. Okay? So then perturbatively means that if we ignore the instant on effect, the, then beta function is independent of tau. So independent of the gauge coupling constant. That is a consequence of the holomorphy and this symmetry, theta equal theta plus two pi. Then, this means This means this beta function is one loop exact. There's no two loop, three loop effect. It's a, just a one loop effect. It's like anomaly. Okay. Uh, this is, can be seen. Uh, uh, definition of beta is like, uh, like this. Uh, maybe this coefficient uh, long, uh, anyway. Z. Okay. So this is the definition. Uh, theta cannot learn. And uh, then, you know, use our computation of the beta function of a gauge coupling constant. We know this is like, uh, this form. It starts from d squared, d cubic, and this is a one loop effect. This is a two loop. Da da da. Okay. As you should know <laughs> it, but uh, ah, sorry, this is <laughs> Q. So maybe this is uh, because. Uh, a gauge coupling constant appear in a uh, uh, three point vertex A A A G G G oh, sorry so three point okay so this uh, diagram is uh, uh, correction to the Gauge coupling constant, okay? So this is a G, 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 so this, it's a G cubic, okay? So this is a one loop collection. This is one loop. And this is two loop, three loop, etc. Okay, but, uh, oh, sorry. Oh. This is also G cubic, sorry. <laughs> and this is C square, so this is should be G, G cubic. So this one loop effect gives uh, constant to this beta function for tau uh, because of this one over g definition, okay? Okay, so this uh, tau independent term is uh, this one loop effect, okay? So two loop effect, it's depend on g here. So it's depend on tau, okay? And three loop effect also. So if beta tau is tau independent, so then beta tau should be one, one loop exact. So there's no such correction for supersymmetric case theory. Okay. So this is a consequence of the holomorphy and uh, invariance under the... So this one, or sorry? A tau independent, sorry. Uh, here, because of the, this invariance, uh, tau can appear like uh, this, okay? This is okay. 
And then, uh, negative, negative power is, uh, uh suppressed by, the, uh, yeah, should, should be absent because of the, uh, this should, this term should be like exponential minus d squared something. If this is plus, then it's diverging in the RV coupling constant. Okay, so this should be a non-negative integer. And so, uh, positive integer contribution is, a uh, uh, instant effect because, uh, this contains exponential theta n something. So this is come from the, this theta term with, uh, instant number non zero n. So only the n equals zero term is, uh, uh, one, uh, loop effect, part of the loop effect, okay? And the n equals zero term is, also, of course, uh, tau independent, uh, because n equals zero. This is, uh, no tau independent. So, because of this term. So then, we conclude tau is, a uh, beta is tau independent. It means a uh, beta is one loop effect, uh, one loop exact, okay? Huh? Oh, no, this, this means uh, tau is uh, defined by this one, and uh, if we uh, 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 transform theta, theta plus two pi, then tau becomes tau plus one or something like that. So actually, yeah. yeah. Actually, of course, uh, theta and gauge coupling constant is a completely independent variable in a user uh, gauge theory. But in a supersymmetric gauge theory, it's uh, in, a, in a super potential. It's combined as a holomorphic function. Then this uh, invariance and uh, this uh, symmetry of the theta term conf uh, control the gauge coupling constant also. Okay, so. So this is also uh, because of the holomorphic. Okay. And this, uh, this coefficient can be determined easily by one loop computation. So we know such a constant. Uh, like uh, in a, for SNC gauge theory in n equal one case, uh, this becomes a three NC minus NF or something like that. So we can compute it uh, as in a user text level computation. So uh, here, yeah, 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 okay. Actually, for the, for the U1 case, this is zero, but uh, anyway, uh, no, not zero. Uh, for, for the, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, Yamil's case, it's zero, no matter. Anyway. Okay, so this is a, okay, so this is a definition of the lambda. Uh, it's called a QCD scale or a QCD scale or some, lambda, dynamical scale of the theory. Okay. It's analog of the uh, QCD scale for SU3, I mean, our, uh, QCD in our world. Uh, anyway. Uh, this means d squared mu equal lambda equal infinity. Okay, lambda is defined by uh, uh, this one, gauge coupling constant. Yeah, here, gauge coupling constant is a uh, one loop uh, exact. So using that uh, with one loop uh, beta function, uh, gauge coupling constant becomes uh, diverged at some point. It is called uh, a dynamical scale. So this is the definition of the dynamical scale here. Okay, then... Okay, so part of the theory we can define this lambda as this one in a supersymmetry gauge theory. In a non, yeah, in a non-suji case, uh, there is a two-loop, three-loop correction, and we should include such things, uh, but here, uh, beta function is one of exact, so this is, uh, this learning of the coupling constant is exact, okay? 
It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. Again? Repeat, uh, repeat what? Uh, Contribution from, uh, sorry, the. Uh -huh. uh, you mean uh, the, these terms? Ah, okay. Okay, so these terms, uh, if uh, these terms exist, uh, then. Uh, uh, let us call this is uh, this as a B uh, two or something like that. Then this gives a uh, uh, beta to uh, this one as a G two cubic. So this gives a uh, one over G to beta function. Okay, so this one over G means a uh, uh, tau equals something plus uh, one over G squared uh, if theta equals zero. So, so this is uh, uh, something like this, tau, something like that. So it depends on tau. But uh, as as we saw, a beta function should be some tau independent uh, function plus uh, some instant on effect. So this function is tau independent. So this should be zero because it depends on square root or something like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let us, oh, sorry, consider the non-Avelian <laughs> case. Actually, these considerations are for the non-Avelian case, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I will define the action for the non-Avelian case. <laughs> I mean, I think uh, you already already know that, but uh, uh, I will explicitly write down the action. Okay, for no 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 abelian case, uh, we can define W alpha like uh, this. For abelian case, this becomes a v, and this becomes uh, yeah, this becomes one, and this becomes a v or something like that. But in normal case, we can define like that. Then this W alpha becomes a uh, uh, color superfield. And then there is a, uh, a super, uh, sorry, there is uh, some invariance uh, for, the, uh, for the gauge action. I mean, uh, the invariance is, uh, actually we have, we have not used <laughs> this one, but anyway. Uh, E I lambda. 
Okay. And then this transformation induces uh, 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 W alpha lambda. Okay. Here lambda is arbitrary chiral superfield. Oh, sorry. So V is uh, some some matrix. I mean, some representation of the gauge group of the non-abelian gauge theory. Okay. So this V is a matrix. So this also becomes a matrix. Okay. Then the so the action supersymmetric action is written down like. Uh, ah, so this. Is <laughs> Ah, yeah. This is not uh, theta times theta, but <laughs> Fermi. Anyway, like this. Okay, this is a, there is a trace because this is a, a matrix. Then you can see this transformation. Uh, uh, under this transformation, this action is invariant. And of course, this is a Suji invariant because this is a chiral superfield. We can check that from this one. A d, 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 I have n I will not uh, explicitly write down the component action, but uh, L in component component fields L in component fields has the uh, same form as Abelian case, so. I will not write down the action. Actually, of course, uh, in for the Abelian case, uh, uh, for the no Abelian case, the user derivative becomes a covariant derivative for the, this uh, gauge field or something like that. But it, it, that is the only change. So it is a free, uh, free, sorry. Uh, sorry, it is a. Uh, uh, Gay theory kind of terms plus uh, uh, while fermion action uh, and uh, only the cup only the interaction is a uh, gauge interaction. It means just uh, replacing uh, derivative to the covariant derivative. That is uh, this action. So only the change is uh, dm to dm. And definition of the field strength has also some this effect. Okay. Now, question is gauge field plus matter case. Okay. So here we <laughs> just consider the vector super field. But uh, now we consider the vector superfield plus uh, uh, chiral superfield. And it's interact, uh, interaction between that. Actually, there is a, should be a gauge interaction between that. And then, uh, okay. For the chiral superfield, uh, we assign this gauge, gauge transformation. Gauge transformation means that this uh, type of super space superfield gauge transformation. It includes a user gauge transformation, but it's uh, larger. And we should uh, uh, impose a WSM in a condition to get a user uh, gauge theory component action. Uh, anyway, uh, okay. okay, we assign this one. Uh, actually, yeah, this is analog of, for example, quark to Minus one lambda quark or something. A quark is a, a vector represent. I am vector rep is represented by vector. I mean, n vector or something like that. Lambda is n by n matrices. Represents a matrix. 
uh, something like that. But here it's uh, uh, extended the user uh, gauge parameter to the a super field. Then phi dagger EV phi is gauge invariant. Okay. This is from this one. So then this is a gauge invariant, like a user of bilinear combination. Okay. So phi dagger phi is a scalar potential, so we can replace scalar potential to this, this one, inserting exclusion V. This includes, uh, uh, this affects uh, covariant deri uh, derivative to the covariant derivatives, including the gauge field. Uh, anyway, uh, 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 uh. okay. The Suji and gauge invariant action is uh, in sorry in with semi no gauge is oh sorry. So this is a component action. Sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Is it okay? What is a here? <laughs> This is not a, this should be a lambda. <laughs> okay. So this is a uh, uh, same as a uh, phi dagger phi case, uh, but replacing uh, derivative to the covariant derivative, including a uh, gauge field. And there's a, then there's a gauge interaction between the uh, fermions, ah, uh, uh, sorry, so not, not gauge interaction, it's a, <laughs> a super, <laughs> super partner of the gauge interaction, it's, it's, uh, yeah, this, uh, this action includes this, uh, Yukawa type action. It's, uh, couples, uh, uh fermion in the chiral superfield and the fermion in the vector superfield. And this is a scalar field in a car super field. And the most important point is that this includes uh, this type of the scalar potential. D is a uh, auxiliary gauge field for the vector super field, and uh, phi is a uh, scalar field in car super field. And T A, sorry, T A is a representation matrix of the gauge theory for the chiral super field. Is it okay? Oh. 
So TA is like a, uh, for the SUN case, TA is like a N by N matrices. S U N or something like that. And phi is represented by uh, n vector. Okay. Okay, then the total Lagrangian. Total Lagrangian means uh, this term plus. Uh, this term. The Lagrange, so the Lagrangian uh, include This d squared comes from uh, this uh, action for the yes, vector superfield, and this comes from uh, this action. Okay, so this gives uh, this d a doesn't have a kinetic term, so this is auxiliary field. So uh, okay, so integrating out d a. Uh, Oh my God! Sorry, sorry. So this D A is a uh, so integrating as a D A. Uh, gives a dA equal minus g squared phi double dA phi from this action, ah, g, ah, okay, g squared. And uh, potential, scalar potential is uh, come from this terms gives uh, minus V equal V squared phi double T phi squared. Or the summation over this A. Okay. Ah, ah sorry, this there's a summation over A. A, A is the uh, index for the uh, for the gauge group, a joint index. Okay, so then this case, classical vacuum is a V equal zero, means uh, DA equal zero. Okay, this is called a uh, D-term condition. Okay, uh, as I said before, uh, for the supersymmetric gauge theory, this vacuum condition, classical vac at, uh, vacuum condition is represented by the auxiliary field equal zero. And also, if there is a, a super potential for this kind of super field, we should impose uh, uh, F equal del phi del W equal zero. Okay. Or maybe we can write down D W. Okay, so this is a vacuum condition, but
So of course this uh, dA equals zero. dA is uh, this one. This is uh, actually gauge invariant. But uh, also now to complexified complexified gauge transformation. Oh. So which is defined by U C equal exponential alpha A T A and uh, alpha is here. Also means uh, by this uh, transformation uh, gives uh, yeah I mean uh, it's like uh, uh, this is a phi 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 space or something like that and uh, I don't know <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> something da equals zero space <laughs> then. Uh, then this gauge transformation uh, gives uh, this space invariant. Uh, actually, gauge transformation uh, gives uh, uh, transformation inside this frame. <laughs> but uh, this UC transformation is uh, orthogonal, orthogonal to the, this frame. Are you okay? I mean, that means uh, by this transformation, always, uh, uh, I mean, the transformed uh, configuration always, uh, always doesn't satisfy this condition. So this, this one. Then Okay, which is a bit uh, complicated, uh, but uh, okay. Hmm. So this complicated gauge transformation is uh, flow along uh, trans. I mean, uh, also now to this space. Okay. So this T A equals zero is constraint on this direction. It's like a gauge fixing of the, this UC gauge transformation. Okay? And then dA equals zero uh, over gauge transformation, identified as a gauge transformation, is same as all field 
our, our convection space modeled out by complexified gauge transformation, gauge transformation plus uh, this UC. Okay, so I mean, the space like uh, the point like here is identified by complexified gauge transformation to this dA equals zero space here. And the uh, gauge invariant operator, including uh, pi only, I mean, the no phi dagger, are uh, invariant and uh, complexified, I mean, by you see this complexified gauge transformation. Okay. For example, phi, uh, phi A, something like phi A. Or uh, phi A, oh sorry. Mm. For example, if uh, phi as a a joint field, then trace phi squared is a gauge invariant operator. But uh, trace phi dagger phi is also a gauge invariant operator. But uh, this <laughs> is also invariant under complex file gauge transformation, like here. Uh, here because there is no dagger okay so this is factor also cancelled okay oh, you see goes so this means this type of a uh, gauge invariant operator in only include the color super field is uh, uh, that param parameterize this space. All configuration sets are identified as a complex gauge transformation. Okay. That means uh, classical, at least classical. Classical modular space of vacuum. So what I want to say is uh, imposing this condition is equivalent to the just consider the uh, holomorphic gauge invariant. Okay. If without this condition, we need to uh, we need to consider the five 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 dagger or something like that. 
but uh, because of this condition, gauge invariant parameter space are also holomorphic. Okay. That means uh, modular space becomes uh, holomorphic, but uh, a holomorphic or complex, but uh, uh, is, is it okay? <laughs> Not okay. I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> some of you use uh, this fact, uh, analyzing uh, gauge, uh, supersymmetric gauge theory, but uh, mm. okay, this is a uh, oh. Okay. Um. Mm. Okay. So next, uh, 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 yeah, we will consider the n equal one supersymmetric QCD as a uh, explicit example of the uh, exact result uh, using a uh, holomorphy. Uh, but uh, I think uh, it's a uh, uh, time. I'm. Uh, it's to. 11 o'clock or, uh, or a weekend. It's a, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a, uh, yeah.